Trigeminal neuralgia is, is a rare condition. It's a, a form of severe facial pain. It's regarded as the worst imaginable pain that mankind can endure. It occurs because there's a lesion or an injury within the trigeminal nerve. Now the trigeminal nerve transmits sensations of pain and touch from our face. And when it's injured, it can cause severe bouts of sharp shooting, stabbing or electric pain in response to a mechanical or sensory trigger as simple as touching your face, brushing your teeth, eating and drinking. Now when it does occur, it often may involve the teeth and you may want to see your dentist to make sure that there's no underlying abnormality that can be identified. Beyond that, you'll be sent to your GP where your GP will assess you. Now, because it's fairly rare, your GP may not have seen a case like this and will refer you to your local hospital where a specialist neurologist will assess you. And upon diagnosis, we'll start you on medications that can be highly effective in controlling this. And likely, we'll also send you for a, a brain scan to make sure that there's no other identifiable cause. Now, in the majority of cases, it occurs because there's a blood vessel which is normal around the trigeminal nerve, pressing on the nerve and distorting it and causing this very focal area of injury within the nerve and that results in the pain. Rarely, and, and that's why it may be important to have a brain scan, is to exclude any uh, adjacent tumour or cyst and or other inflammatory condition like multiple sclerosis. The first line therapy is medication and this is effective in the majority of cases and it may be effective for the, the duration of the illness. When the disease persists, it tends to progress and you need more and more medication. And this is often complicated by side effects and when you need to potentially trial other forms of medication to get the same degree of response. Now when the medication either stops working or you cannot take the quantities required because of side effects, you will need to be sent to a neurosurgical specialist for further assessment and consideration of surgical treatments which can be highly effective in alleviating your symptoms and enabling you to come off your medication.